Welcome to the 100% shiny water type Pokemon location video for the Kitakami Teal Mask. I even wore my Quaxley shirt for this video. If you're looking for any specific water Pokemon, make sure to check out the timestamps and watch the section because there may be a better sandwich for water because there's a lot of them. If you're looking for any specific Pokemon types, make sure to check out our playlist for the Teal Mask that has a lot of Pokemon types already in it, as well as checking out the Paldea playlist for any Pokemon you may have missed in the base game. For the water sandwich, we will need one cucumber and two salty herba mysticas. Feel free to comment down below any alternate sandwich recipes for water Pokemon. You can also use an encounter power level two sandwich if you don't have any salty herba mystica to make it a lot easier for yourself because the results are almost the same. I've seen comments do it with encounter power one. If you did this right, you should have sparkling power water and encounter power water level three. For this video, we're also going to be needing the zoom in trick because some Pokemon just sneak underwater or are not as easy to see in the grass. So to do that, we're going to be pressing the double home button and X and Y to zoom in. And to turn that on, you're just going to have to go to your system settings, go all the way down to system and then select the zoom button and turn it on. That's it. Let's get hunting. So one of the big Pokemons that is probably the hardest to hunt in this game is going to be Phoebus. But the trick to do this is pretty simple. You want to head over to the crystal pool area while you have your encounter sandwich on. It doesn't matter if it's encounter two or encounter three, but apparently from our evidence in Paldea, if you have an encounter sandwich and do something called date skipping or time skipping, you should be able to get one. Now, it's not that easy. I'm going to say this up now. Some people get it in two minutes and it might take some people an hour, but this is the best way to do it. So open up your map just like this and make sure mass outbreaks are showing up on your map. Next, you want to go to home, go to system settings, go all the way down to system, and then we're going to do the date and time skipping. Now, if you're someone who wants to get a legal date Pokemon, no worries. All you have to do is just go back a minute and the spawn should change. You really don't care what date you get your Pokemon, then you don't got to worry about about that. So when the raid dens change, that's an indication that it has changed. And if you see weird outbreaks and it starts to disappear, just make sure to zoom out all the way. That'll fix all the weird outbreaks on the map. And it should be able to show up in your map. So you can see we got different ones over here. And pretty much what you want to keep doing is date skipping or time skipping until you get a Phoebus. And after about five minutes of reloading for myself, I was able to get myself a Phoebus outbreak. So once you get one, you're going to want to head all the way down into this cave. Just like like this drop all the way down and we're going to go towards where the water is there we go and from here i'm just going to make my way into the room over here and make sure you have a pokemon that can battle in the water so let me just switch out over here so once you're here you pretty much want to take out 60 of this phoebus to give yourself the highest shiny chance to get a shiny one so my goal is just to take out 60 right now so i'm going to do that after you defeat yourself 60 phoebus you'll eventually will bump into a shiny phoebus so good luck getting your shiny phoebus but before before we move on, this video is sponsored by Factor. You know those days when you can't decide between ordering takeout or trying to whip up a meal? Yeah, Factor gets it. They're all about providing quick, delicious meals without any of the hassle. You literally select the meals from their website, which has tons of options. The chefs prepare it for you and it arrives at your front door. No need to stress over grocery shopping or meal prepping anymore. Everything arrives fresh and never frozen. Factor's chef prepared meals are ready to go in just two minutes, making your life Life a lot easier so you have time to focus on other things. Factor sent over a bunch of delicious meals. I just popped into the microwave for two minutes and bam, dinner's ready. By the way, this is the jalapeno lime cheddar chicken and honestly, it tasted fantastic. You can really tell that they used high quality ingredients. Oh, and it wasn't just food. They also have tons of juices as well. I tried out the apple beet ginger juice and it was actually super refreshing and I seriously can't wait to try out the other juices. So if you want to eat delicious food and make time for other important things in your life by having these amazing meals prepped for you, head over to factors75.com or click the link below and use code BEATSU50 and you'll get 50% off your first Factor box. Enjoy. Now back to the video. The location we're heading to is going to be the Crystal Pool and it's going to be for the Pokemon Aracuda. And something about the Crystal Lake that you should know is that it is not the most efficient place due to the fact that it's extremely extremely, extremely, extremely laggy. You're going to need a water Pokemon here to help you hunt them, but there are Aracudas all over this little pool area. And what you're going to be looking for is this specific color of shiny over here on screen. And it's going to be kind of obvious, but also the fact that they dive under the water is not going to help. So make sure you're just eliminating Pokemon and running around the lake where enough where they can despawn. Sometimes they are underneath, so you have to make sure you're kind of looking there too. I guess this is where the double home zoom in is going to help a bit when you're looking underwater. Water. So 
So that's going to be a very important technique, especially for this Pokemon. And I feel like this is a lot easier area in the Teal Mask to hunt this than it is in Paldea. So make sure to go ahead and grab one and add it on to your collection. And then you can evolve it too. This is a very fast Pokemon and they're aggressive. So just make sure to stay out of their line of sight. So if you're hunting for Aracuda and you feel like the Crystal Pool area is a little too laggy to get this, you can date skip until you get an outbreak. And I was able to get an outbreak over here. An outbreak method is pretty simple. You just really have to KO a certain amount of Pokemon until you have the highest shiny chances. And then you can just back away from the area and kind of just picnic reset once you take out the amount of Pokemon. Just make sure you have a Pokemon that can fight in the water to take these out. But the shiny should be pretty obvious within this location. And like I said, this is where I got mine and it's not in the laggy area. So good luck getting yourself an Aracuda. This is going to be the only spot to find Basculins that are going to evolve into Basculegions. In order to come here, you're going to head all the way over to the Timeless Woods and you want to place yourself around the water in a pretty good spot. Now, you do get a lot of them spawning here, but unfortunately, the water sandwich is going to be a little weird and you're going to get some Choodles that spawn here and there. Sometimes you get Quagsires. So it's a little bit mixed, but you do have majority spawns of Basculin. Now, the big things you want to look for for the shiny is slightly yellowing of the fins shown on screen here. So this is what the shiny looks like. And it's a little bit of a brighter color. So you're going to have to use the zoom in trick if you really want to be safe and make sure that it's not as shiny. Now, place yourself exactly where I am over here. And what you're going to do is do the picnic reset. So when you're above it, so just go ahead, do a picnic reset just like this. And as soon as you poke one out, you can just go reset like that. And then you should start to see Pokemon spawning in the water. Uh, there's the Basculins. There's some Choodles. So if you get lucky, you can get yourself an extra Choodle in here. I actually found a Quagsire in here. So here's a clip of me finding one. It's quite a bit of a difficult hunt to get one over here. And the spawn sometimes do act up. Some people like to hop in the water and KO the Pokemon one by one by one just to get new spawns consistently. So it's totally up to you. You could also circle the lake if you don't want to just be at that edge. So it's really a tailored hunt to whatever you think may work for you. Now, just be aware that if you do get a male Basculegion, this is what the color is going to look like when it's shiny. And if you have a female Basculegion, this is what it's going to look like when it's shiny. So you're probably going to want to have two shiny Basculegion. If you're having a really difficult time, you can go ahead on your screen or while you have the water sandwich active, go to your home page, go to your system settings, go all the way down to system, and then just go ahead and date skip or, you know, go down by one minute in order to change the mass outbreak locations until you happen to get a mass outbreak or Basculins within the area. If for some reason your game is glitched and you don't see any mass outbreaks, just zoom out all the way, zoom in back, and that's pretty much the better way for you to get one. Mass outbreaks are definitely a great to do this. If you want shiny luck like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. The Pokemon we're going to be hunting next is going to be Lotad. And for this, you're going to head over towards Wisteria Pond at the bottom left corner of your map in order to hunt this. Now, from here, you're going to want to head over to the water area, but by around this corner over here or any corner that you notice you get the most spawns. Um, you get a lot of them when you usually push yourself up against a wall. You'll get kind of a good amount of them showing up. So what you want to do is when you have a good angle of them, go ahead and do a picnic reset when you see them. This is what the shiny looks like and this is what its second evolution will look like as they do start spawning in the grass. A grass sandwich isn't going to be as efficient here because you're going to get other types of grass Pokemon. But this is going to be really obvious because all you have to do is look for the shiny. Eventually you will get it in this area after doing a bunch of picnic resetting and you should easily be able to have your low tad, which will evolve into the next evolution. And then finally, you get yourself a Ludicolo. So good luck Johnny hunting this over here. It shouldn't be too bad. And it's definitely one of the most common Pokemon that will be spawning throughout this water video. But definitely, this is the better spot because of clusters. Okay, I need to put you on this hunt over here. Specifically, this is a Magikarp location. But there's something special that people are hunting. And I don't know if you all want to do this, but go to the Fallen Horn. And from the Fallen Horn, head over to the east right there to this little spot with your water sandwich. When you come over here, you're just going to see a ton of Magikarp, right? That's great. Magikarp is going to be a golden color and it's not like that surprising or new to people. But something big that people have found in this area is that there is actually a level 100 Magikarp hidden here. Let me see if we can find that Magikarp. Okay, level 50 and there it is. The level 100 Magikarp is right over there. So this level 100 Magikarp is a huge deal because this has become the target of everyone's hunt. Can you imagine just saying, hey, I can caught a level 100 golden Magikarp. Just check out this clip from Proper Good Games who actually found a level 100 Magikarp. That was shiny. There's a chance. Oh my god! Oh! No, it's not! It is! It's the level 100 shiny! Are you joking? The first one! Oh my god! It's the level 100! 
Yo. So if you really want to step up this challenge and try to get it, this is definitely the location to do it. If not, and you just want a regular shiny golden magic carp, well, this is exactly the same location you need to go. All you really need to do in this area is kind of just back out fully, despawn a bunch of them by hitting this wall, come back. And if they don't really despawn out, you can just picnic reset. But the amount of magic carp here is absolutely insane. And you're definitely going to be able to guarantee yourself 100% a shiny magic carp. If you spend your time here, just doing some picnic resetting with your sandwich being active, and then you can evolve it into a nice red Gyarados that's gonna look pretty cool or just keep the level 100 golden Magikarp and immortalize that thing forever in your Pokemon home all right good luck hunting your Magikarp Poliwag is going to be a very interesting hunt in this game because it's very difficult for a lot of people to see but specifically in this cave location you're gonna be able to see the difference between the regular ones and the shiny ones here's what the shiny one looks like here's what the regular one looks like and it's second evolution as well now in order to get to this location you literally just have to teleport all the way to the fallen horn that's it and then from the fallen horn this cave is just on its way from there so there's your teleport point and then you just rush into this cave and this is where you'll be able to find your polywag now something to note is that since the polywags despawn and respawn you're gonna have to do some weird picnic reset because i noticed it's difficult to get them all to just kind of spawn in one spot i noticed getting into this corner is pretty good you want to place yourself in this corner right over here about where you can set up a picnic closest to the wall face them and then you're just gonna want to hit your picnic button that way you'll get about three to seven spawns a polywag or its evolution polywhirl throughout the time and all you have to do is just notice the lighter color here it's going to be very obvious due to the cave lighting and you should be able to go ahead and grab yourself one so they do take the time to spawn and it's going to take a little bit of patience but all you have to do is just zoom in if you see the spawn stop and nothing's really coming out anymore then you can go ahead and just go for a complete reset again but having them set apart from everything else is going to make it a lot easier on your eyes so good luck hunting it in this location you should be able to get an amount of them to spawn it's random i know but this is the best we can do to not have them show up with any other pokemon again just walk over this back area back and forth facing this wall if some are having a hard time spawning and you should be able to get it with no problem and evolve it into a poly wrath or a poly toad depending on whatever you want with the king's rock now if we're shiny hunting whooper the best spot to do this is going to be in two locations close to masui town now whooper is everywhere you will find it throughout but two fast locations is going to be masui town located right over here and all you have to do is just step out over here and it'll say kitakami road and when it does say kitakami road you just have to literally look around for these little blue dots walking around and those are pretty much your whooper they will spawn pretty much everywhere in this area also on the floor you'll get a bunch of pokemon spawning on the left side so if you want to peek and do a multi hunt while looking for your whoopers you can there are some polywags and corfish but primarily you want to use this for the whooper hunt so you want to just keep going to masui town then exit right back out of kitakami road and that's how you're going to spawn in your whoopers for this shiny hut now also let's go to the next location so we're gonna make our way all the way down over here so let me just go down this direction and it looks like i just bumped into a shiny whooper <laughs> on my way there there it is let me throw it in a heel ball and caught nice got a shiny whooper but the next location i wanted to show you was right over here this is a really solid spot right in this area and all you have to do is face this land right in front of you and go ahead and just do a picnic reset doing it at this corner is going to be really broken because the only thing that'll spawn in front of you are these whoopers so just be on the lookout for something pink over there make sure to also just peek behind you just in case oh, any whoopers spawn behind you but this entire area overlooking should be a nice spot to get yourself a nice whooper if you're looking for a spot to hunch barboach and whiskash you can head over to the crystal pool but underneath via the secret cave to go down here and uh right at the bottom of the secret cave within the crystal pool you'll be able to find barboaches spawning everywhere in this location so you just can take them out back all the way out respawn them uh pretty much that that's it. Make sure you have a Pokemon that can battle in the water. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult. So if you're looking for a much better hunting spot, I do suggest having the ground sandwich and checking out our ground video over at the Fellhorn Gorge. At this location, you'll find a bunch of bar boats swimming around as well as whisk caches within that entire area of swimming. You'll sometimes bump into a Whooper or a Quagsire because obviously they share the same typing pretty much, but it's way better and a lot more opportunities in order to get yourself a bar boat or a whisk cache. So just wanted to put that out there.
there for everyone watching so go check out that video now if you're trying to look for a shiny corpish or a shiny craw dunt well the best way to probably get this one solo is going to be via a mass outbreak you will find it though in various spots throughout kitakami all over the place by the water areas but it's not going to be easy to just completely solo out so be aware that you might need to do that because they do spawn in and mix up with a lot of other pokemon now there is a solution if you just want to hunt its evolution craw dunt if you eat a dark sandwich which is going to help you out a lot and head over to the fellhorn gorge when you start swimming around the water in that area you're going to find a bunch of different craw dunt in the area they're going to be uh, by the water and the shiny you're looking for is going to look like this it's almost like a desaturated version so you should be able to see it just make sure you have a pokemon that can attack in the water in case it's underneath and you want to double check if it's a shiny or not and the trick here is just really to despawn them out by just walking around but eventually you will come across one over here and it's definitely way easier to hunt this than corpish unless you're trying to do a mass outbreak in order to get one so let me know if you're going to hunt for corpish or just going to head over to our dark video to get yourself a shiny craw done good luck hunting this pokemon if you do have a water sandwich you could run across this entire gray area over here by masui town area they do happen to somehow spawn in the water or on the land so if you want to just try to do some despawns and respawns you can do that that is an option and look across the shore um i noticed it's not going to be a lot of them but they do spawn so if you want to use your water sandwich for that go for it if you don't care about mass outbreaks tiny hunting location is going to be really interesting for scarlet players but for violet players here's what we're going to do we're going to head over to the kitakami hall and from here just follow me up go through these double entrance ways and then you're going to find a corner up over here just like this where a person is standing once you arrive in this corner over here you're then going to hop over this spot just like that to the right and drop down just like this and that should activate the fellhorn gourd now if you're playing pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet during the daytime you will find that there are going to be ducklets now here's what the shiny for ducklet looks like and the reason why this little rock is so special is because when we back up all the way here like this we get hitakami hall showing up and then fellhorn gourd shows up which makes it super easy to go ahead and shiny hunt so you can constantly go in and out of the town spawn method making it very easy in order to get a shiny to appear now the shiny is not going to be too hard for this duck to show up because it's going to be a purple color make sure to twist your camera to the left and peek over to the right because sometimes they might just be right underneath and you don't want to miss it so keep that in mind when you're doing this hunt if you want to be super safe you can go ahead and tap kitakami hall just like that enter fellhorn gorge just do a little fly around like that to make sure there's no shinies if there's no shinies just go back up run up to the wall again tap it and you should be good to keep doing town resets so just keep that in mind when you're hunting it should be pretty easy and you should be able to get yourself a ducklet now if you're playing pokemon scarlet and it's nighttime you should be able to go back and forth and get yourself the version exclusive cramorants that actually spawn in nice numbers at night during the day it's going to be ducklet for you and scarlet but at nighttime this is where you're going to be hunting crams and crams shiny color is going to be really obvious as it looks like this which is straight up orange there's no way that you can miss out on the shiny pokemon absolutely no way again make sure to just kind of turn under there make sure you're not missing out on any shinies go ahead back up touch the thing kitakami hall you're gonna pop down take a look what's showing up at fellhorn and keep doing this over and over again until you get your shiny cram oh look at that they spawned up here when i went all the way to the right so there you go super easy spot for you to get one of these now when it comes to hunting down toodles toodles don't really have a specific solo location and the best bet is probably to hunt them down in Paldea. But Dreadnoughts, on the other hand, actually have a really good location with the rock sandwich versus the water sandwich because it's great to separate out water Pokemon with other sandwiches, hence why this water video wasn't really first. So from the Gracious Stones, you're going to head over to this body of water right here with the rock sandwich. And when you're over here, you're going to walk slowly towards the water and you're going to see a bunch of Dreadnought that spawn. When you pull back, you can despawn them out or picnic reset. But the real major point is look how much Dreadnought spawn in this little area. It's so powerful and I definitely think this is a great way to do it. Dreadnoughts are also going to be spawning all over the Fellhorn Gorge, so make sure to swim around and go ahead and find one. This is what the shiny looks like, so it should be pretty easy. So good luck getting one using the Rock Sandwich. So if you're looking to hunt a shiny Surskit, the best location to go to is going to be the Gracious Stones all the way up here. And the best spot to go ahead and get that is going to be by heading towards the water over on the spot. With the Water Sandwich, you're only going to get random Surskits just spawning in the grass. And here's what its shiny looks like. But if you have the bug sandwich, which you can watch the bug video for,
before that we did, you'll see that we have a lot more spawning in this water area right behind us at nighttime. So you can actually hunt for both of its evolutions over here. So keep that in mind for this specific Pokemon. Water sandwich is not the ideal one to use. Now you got all your shiny water Pokemon, you should check out this video over here.